For the Cairo World Cup, the gymnastics equipment will be Gymnova. So we're switching over to the Gymnova Palmer horse right here. We're going to practice on it just to get used to the leather and the feel of the Palmer horse in general. See this little rip at the bottom of the grip there? You do not want to see that because when you're at 10 times your body weight at the bottom of the high bar, they could snap. So you don't want to be having those. That's why I got new high bar grips. They seem really small at first, but when you break them in, the leather actually stretches because there's so much force going at the bottom of the bar. So they will eventually stretch out into the size of my actual hands. A small update for Floor on my part. My back has been feeling much better because I was kind of resting it and not training Floor as I was building up to these competitions where I was just competing in pommel horse. So it's nice to be doing a little bit more basics on Floor. My back is feeling good. So hopefully we can build that up and eventually get back to competing on Floor. So it's just got confirmed there, actually 15 minutes before I'm about to leave the house, that we're going to be traveling straight from Cairo, Egypt, to Baku. So let's get this show on the road. We missed our flight. We have to get another one tonight at about 10. And Adam was going to meet us at the gate, so he had to get on the flight and he's going to meet us in Cairo. So poor Adam on that flight by himself. Don't forget the catchphrase. What is it? Don't forget to recycle. Yeah, baby. Egypt. That's the good news. The bad news was it was a really long day of traveling. It's currently 7.30 a.m. and I've slept two hours in the last day. And when we arrived to the airport, our bags didn't arrive with us. But hopefully they will arrive today or tomorrow. So we'll just have to make do with what I brought in my backpack. training went decent yesterday. I had to borrow Adam's wrist supports and Adam's long so Adam came in clutch there. But what just happened there is I just got word that I need to go to the airport and show my ID to then get my bag. It is competition day so it would be very helpful if I could get my bag today. <laughs> I just arrived at the baggage claim there and they said we have your bags. 
it, and that's brilliant news, but they said you're gonna have to wait two and a half hours for the bags. Your attention. It's finally here, after a five hour wait at the airport this morning. We done it, we got the bike. It now means that we don't need to borrow Adam's belongings for the competition, I can just use my own wrist supports and gymnastics kit. So, happy St. Patrick's Day folks, that should be a good enough score to make the final. Now I'm just going to go out and watch these two guys perform in the floor qualification, so I'm excited to see what they've been doing, they're looking so sharp in training. So here we have it, gold medal at the Cairo World Cup in Egypt. Not only did I take gold on palm horse, Adam also got a bronze medal on floor, Eamon came fifth. With all of those results combined, that's Ireland's most successful ever World Cup, ever. Now to me that is just so exciting, seeing how far gymnastics in Ireland has come. To be getting these big international results from multiple people is just incredible. We're also going to create this new tradition where we're going to jump in to the hotel pool. After every competition, this pool in this hotel is absolutely freezing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, someone call a doctor? 